working with farmers to also increase their production so that you actually have more supply brought on market. Fertilizer shortages are real now because Russia is a big exporter of fertilizer. We're working with countries to think about natural solutions like manure and compost. So never let a crisis go to waste, but we really do need this financial support uh, from the Congress to be able to meet emergency food needs. Time for the hot topic buzz. That was U.S. Agency for International Development Chief Samantha Power on ABC this weekend, making the case that the global food shortage would push farmers to go green. She even repeated those same words that have put so many in politics on notice. Never let a crisis go to waste. Christian. (laughs) <laughs> this is just so nutty. It's beyond belief. We spoke earlier about highly credentialed bobos. Uh, Samantha Power is just the consummate one of those. This is someone who went to Yale and then has a law degree from Harvard. And now she is telling ranchers and farmers, you know, we can't find fertilizer. So maybe you can use some hippie compost and, and let's hope your, your cows don't starve next year. Uh, I live in Northwest Colorado and I can assure you no one out here in the farming and ranching community has been worked with by the White House. Uh, Their solution is higher energy costs. That's what they're talking about. Oh, you're in trouble. We want to raise your energy costs. That'll help. It's insane. That, but that's what they, again, the crisis of high energy prices. And by the way, diesel prices at a new record high today, Brandon, they're hoping that it forces people uh, to use green energy. This is actually what the left wants. Yeah, I mean, I'll just go out and say this is a load of bull poop, right? We're trying to push people away from (laughs) we're trying to push people away from traditional fertilizer to more expensive options at a time when we're facing extraordinarily high food prices, when we're facing extraordinarily high energy prices. Of course, I understand that they want to move in the direction of cleaner energy, of cleaner uh, uh, farming resources, and that's fine. But you can't force those additional costs and put, put put that huge burden on the backs of working Americans. That's what they're trying to do right now. And it's not fair. It's not fair. And people are mad as yes. Brandon and Christian stay right there. The next hour mornings with.